So you've heard of the mommy makeover, tummy tuck, liposuction, breast lift. What about a daddy makeover? More men are turning to cosmetic and plastic surgery. What do you think about that? <laughs> Mia's back to explain that one. I love this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, they won't always admit it. Men are just as concerned about their looks as women. But unlike in the past, they're now willing and able to do something about it. If you look good, you feel good, even if it doesn't all come naturally. So is the case with Beau Jardin. This is our smart lipo machine. When I go into a room and I feel fit, I am fit, and that's how I project myself, you know, when I go to a meeting or I meet with somebody. He's a 33-year-old husband and new father who's back for Botox and a little more, or maybe a little less, with smart lipo. He says his love handles have a handle on him, despite losing weight and kicking up his cardio. So sit-ups won't exactly burn it all off. No, it won't. I think uh, you can work out a lot, but uh, you reach this point where it just doesn't go away. Bo is a part of a new trend. Pearland board certified plastic surgeon Dr. Robert Kretschmer calls the daddy makeover. You might start off with just, you know what, when I take off my shirt, I don't like the laser, I don't like the back hair. I want to get the laser hair removal. But this is more than manscaping. The American Society for Aesthetic Plastic Surgery says men account for nearly 10% of procedures. We're talking everything from the nose to eyelids to facelifts and, yes, liposuction. And I kind of want to get that, you know, six pack ab eventually and really be cut, you know, for, for summertime because it's kind of nice to be the. The good looking husband with the, with the wife and get to show off. Both now and in the future. This gives you a chance to reset and go back to where you were before. And my goal now is that if I do this, it's, it's maintenance. I still have to keep up and work out and eat right and do the right thing. But as long as I do that, I, I'm pretty sure I can stay that way for you know at least most of the rest of my life, I hope, and just continue to be fit. I know you're thinking this guy is young, but the doctor says certain procedures can be preventative and lessen chances for wrinkles and fat deposits in the future. Mormon, uh, taking action now. Would you do it, Ron? Ron? I don't know. You all tell me. I don't think. Don't answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> So but Botox, is that like the, the hottest thing for men? You know what? I think Botox in this case now is kind of a gateway for men. You know, yeah. they go into the office seeking Botox to get rid of a few wrinkles. And then while they're there, they feel a little bit more comfortable in that setting. I know with Bo, he did. And then it opens up, you know, the possibilities for other procedures here, as well. There, little... Hey, yeah. you look good, you feel good. Just like I said. It's called the bait and switch, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> Thanks Thank you, a lot, Mia. Mia. You're welcome.